Um, well, I was interested in reporting what I believe was my very first uh, UFO. Okay. So first off, uh, where was your sighting and what time? Okay, so I was in the uh, uh, Rattlesnake Lake. Rattlesnake Lake. Right. Yeah, that's right past the uh, North Bend. North Bend, so North Bend, Washington, okay. Yeah, you guys are in Washington too, right? Yeah, I, uh, I, moved, I lived in Washington State for 31 years. I just moved to Montana about uh, not quite four years ago, yeah. Oh, okay. And what was the date and time? Uh, yeah, so uh, it would have been the 14th. 14th? It would have been last night. Yeah, we saw it about 9.30 p.m. Okay. Yep. Um, I'll just let you go ahead and ask questions because I'm not sure. Otherwise, Why don't you just around. go ahead and describe what you saw? Okay. So basically what happened is we were going out for an evening hike and we decided to walk around the lake and I was standing on the east side of the lake looking west and there is a mountain, little mountain range called the Rattlesnake Ledge and I don't, I don't remember how tall that is. I think it's couple thousand feet and at about a 20 degree angle um, so you know above the ridge we saw a little star at least that's what I kind of deemed it was and then all of a sudden it started getting really really bright and I mean I'm talking like millions of lumens bright and I kept thinking to myself well that's really weird like I have some flight experience, so I kind of know what an airplane is like. I'm pretty familiar with seeing helicopters around town and stuff. And I thought, well, that's weird because it's so bright that this has to be some kind of a, you know, maybe a helicopter or something with like a headlamp or like a spotlight. But it's kind of weird because when we first saw it, it's like, well, that's a celestial body. And it really wasn't moving. and. That was the interesting thing about it. It kept getting really bright, and then it, and it and it basically stayed in the same spot for probably 20 minutes. We sat there and watched it, and it would get get bright for maybe a minute, and then it would start getting dim, and then to the point where it almost disappeared, and then it would start getting really bright again. Well, at this point, I thought, well, I'm trying to compare in my head, you know, with my friend. Well, what could this be? Uh, satellites move across the sky. It's not really moving. There was obviously a flight path um, that goes from, if my, if my uh, compass readings are right, it, there's two flight paths that go through that we're watching. One that goes from like the south to the north, and then the other, I was kind of seeing aircraft going, and these are like big jetliners, and going from like the west to the east. And I don't really know what altitude the jets are, I'm guessing probably 10,000 feet, something like that, and this was obviously much higher than that, but then at one point, I could tell, and also the sky was pretty bright out that night, I mean, there was a few clouds, and so we were able to actually walk around the lake, even around the tree line without our headlamps, I mean, it was still dark, but I could still do it, and so at one point, I could tell there was like, it was an object, like, I could barely make the outline of just a total black object. And then that kind of disappeared because of the intensity of the light. And when I'm talking about the light, it almost, upon thinking about it this morning, I, I kept thinking it was a reflection, a reflect, God, I can't talk, sorry. A, re, a reflection, almost like uh, an object that makes, I kept thinking maybe an object that would spin like one side of it might be shiny, and then somehow it's picking up the light from the, you know, from the other side of the earth, the sun, and reflecting it. Because it was almost like, almost like a, like you'd see in magazines where you see a star, and so the light is literally extending, like in all directions, really intensely. It, it wasn't like a, like a headlamp. It wasn't just like a one direction focus thing. I mean, this thing was definitely, it was extending incredibly bright light in all directions. And this went on for about 40 minutes. And then at one point, we kind of got tired and cold, and so we decided that we were going to go back to the parking lot, which is probably 10, 15 minutes away. And then I decided, well, I just wanted to go back by myself and see if the thing was still there. 
And sure enough, it was. But it moved. Uh, and at, at one point, even when we were, my friend and I were together, I could tell that it was moving because it almost seemed like it was moving towards me a little bit. And then when I got back, it was literally sitting almost a 90-degree angle to me, like almost right above the light. But it